All right, Kenman here. Today, we have a little double feature unboxing. I've got a little uh, project we can do with one of them. I've got a knife we're gonna look at. And another little thing I did at uh, work today that uh, we're gonna see if it worked out. Exciting stuff. <laughs> Before we start, not sponsored by anyone. Purchase everything at retail price, and I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. All right, um, let's see, how do we do this first? I don't know how I wanna do this. I don't always plan. I think it's more fun for everybody just to say, all right, well, let's just, let's just wing it and see. Um, Yep, so this, yeah, fun one here, we have a pocket clip. What kind of pocket clip? A titanium pocket clip. We have a pocket clip for Civivi. A, B, and C. V, V. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Um, so um, I wanted to continue doing some titanium anodizing. I got this cool pocket clip that is compatible with some Civivis. And then after I did a little more research than I even needed to, I realized we have A, B, and C. Boom. What does that mean, Kenman? Well, I had to look it up and basically it's a list. These are the knives that work with A. Here's the knives that work with B. Here's the knives that work with C. Amazingly, this pocket clip is, is a mastermind, or I don't know. I mean, I guess it makes sense that a lot of them are similar. Originally, I was considering, because it fits this. This is the Civivi Backlash. It, it fits on there. This does not have any titanium on it. It's kind of a base level knife, but it's a great knife. It's cool. And see, it's got that blue aluminum in there, right? So we could do an anodize which would be similar to that shade and we could use this clip on this knife right here so my original intention was oh i'll probably put it on the backlash and then make it match that blue wouldn't that be cool one of the other ones that i noticed let me actually step over here grab this here's my titanium anodizing color chart rainbow here Basically, what you've got is when you do titanium anodizing, there are only certain colors you can get. Here is a rainbow of all of them. Um, so that blue does fall in this area right around here. So we can get something similar to that if we want on that. Um, another one that it fits is the Civivi Chevalier. So I could put titanium clip on this Chevalier. What color would I do if I did it on that one, huh? So that was my original, like, oh, I saw it goes on one of those two. I'll get one. I'll try it out. Maybe I'll order a couple more and uh, keep going with it. And uh, so I ordered it. Then I went and looked, and then I noticed. Bada boom. It also fits the Mini Asticus. It also fits the Exarch. It also fits the Altus. It also <laughs> fits the Cogents. These are all the Civivis that this pocket clip fits. Crazy, right? Why am I moving it over to make room? Because there's more. Unreal. I was happy to spend, I think it was like 12 bucks, something like that, to get one for just one of these knives, right? Well, it also fits some Sun Cuts. We have the Sun Cut Acumen, fits that. We have the Sun Cut Resoria. Put it on there. We have the Crowley. <laughs> is this crazy or what? Well, there's one more that I have, but that one more I have is the Watauga. And if you knew, or you are in the aware, I have three Wataugas. <laughs> now, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to do this. <laughs> what we're looking at here, oh, what a hijack of a video. Although that's part of what this video is. I still got a knife to unbox everybody. This is gonna be fun. 
This pocket clip that I just got can go on any one of these knives. Is that crazy or what? So some of these I can turn into, you know, this could be a trifecta Kenman custom right there because I got the laser mark on the blade. If you haven't seen, I do that. Bing. Also do the dies on these. Wow, a lot of similar of the wood. Interesting. I don't know about the titanium on one of the wood ones. What does everyone think about that? What color would go good on a wood with black? You know, would that look kind of strange to me? I, you know, everybody has the taste that they like and the colors that they like and the style that they like. You know what I mean? But if you ask me, like this cogent, oh, wow. Weak sauce. Hold the button in. This is a great knife. But it's it looks great. I mean, black, silver, maybe, but that would kind of maybe pop too much. It already looks good like that. The Altus looks good like that with the wood. I don't, you know, I don't know. So some of them I don't really think I would consider doing per se. So if I don't know. So let's just let's just start breaking narrowing this down just for the sake of it because I'm not going to buy one for every single one of these knives. I can tell you that right now. I mean, maybe that's a lie. Maybe in the future I will. Um, but realistically, this one, it kind of looks good just like that. Um, I don't know. These would be ones that I would maybe consider um, adding that clip to. I would say probably this one for sure. You could leave it that color and it would match the stripes. That would be kind of neat, right? Um, something on here on the Chevalier kind of looks like a fancy knife. So I feel like that might be something that interesting to go in there. I'm definitely going to do a blue one for this. Um, but yeah, what does everyone think? Leave a comment below. What do you think I should use these clips or try to use this clip for? Um, what color should I use? Like, so you say, oh, I want that. Well, let's try this color. Here's your color choices. Remember, I don't, I can't do every color there. You can't do red. You can't do, you know, like I said, whatever. Um, you're kind of limited to what is available with titanium anodizing, which I still think is a lot. It's still pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I would love some feedback. Comment below. I'm going to order a couple more of these. Actually, I already ordered a couple more. Um, so that's coming in the future. And yeah, okay, let's get into the other package. Seven minutes, Ken Men. All right, what do we got? Bag on the floor, my garon. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Cutting the side of that box, I tell ya. Okay, ooh, we got another. Ooh, ooh. Get in there nice and tight. Controlled Kenman tip cut. What do you think it is, everyone? Boom, let's go. Box on the floor. It is another talisman. What? Boom. Back on the floor. If you have tuned in before, ooh, there's a little oily. Whenever you get a new knife, sometimes it's, you know, they oil it up a little extra sometimes. That handle had a little, look, you can see it on there. Okay. Um, yeah, I already have a Migron Talison. Bing. There it is right there. Look at this thing. This is the first Kenman Trifecta Custom. Talisum is great. I dyed the scale. I dyed the backspacer a different color, that green. I added the titanium clip. See this clip here? That's the clip that it comes with. I swapped out for the titanium one. And then I did the laser mark on the blade with those custom stripes. Kenman Trifecta. More of these to come. But yeah, this is the Talisum. This is the reason I got another one, is because I did this one. It turned out great, it was fun. This was actually a sand color. I'll put that away. This one, you can see, is not. This is gray. 
So it is different, boom. But the action is the same. Flicks out really nice. Mm. For 30 bucks, this is the other reason I bought another one. It's just a good price. It's a good knife. It's a D2 steel blade. Um, the, the nicer Migrons, or even the barely nicer Migrons, um, like $10 more, you're going to get a 14C28 end blade, which is really cool. And you'll get the titanium pocket clip, like on the Migron Moyarl. Boosh. Right? So there's your titanium clip. This actually had a standard colored one, and I added that blue one to that. So I'm working on those customs. What's everyone think of that? Did I make it better, worse, same? Fun. Um, yeah, so this one, we're going to do a custom die and I'll probably get a clip. We'll swap out and put the, the titanium clip on this one as well. Um, but because this is sand, uh, gray instead of sand color, it's going to be different. Um, it'll definitely be darker. Um, the end product, where's the other, here's your Migron Pagos. That was the color that my other Talisman was. So turning that to kind of an orange wasn't a big jump, but this gray, if I tried to make it orange, it would definitely be different. But I don't know, I'll probably try like a dark green or a dark blue. What's everyone think about that? Um, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what color you'd like to see this talisman. But this is the second talisman for the collection. For $30, I mean, come on. Look at that action, it's great. <sighs> nice little knife. Um, I'm not going to do much of a thing. Like I said, uh, you can watch the first unboxing of the other one. Blade is centered nicely. Solid. Liner lock is good. Like I said, it flicks out nice. Um, you can flip that pocket clip over to the other side. You got your captive pivot with the little miger on on there. Oh, Talisman. It's a cool knife. Okay, so let's get out my other Talisman. Oh, there's your fail. Very similar, obviously, but very different because of the customization I did to it. Pretty fun. So what would everyone like to see in this one? And what did I do at work today? Well, I brought in one of my black screws because if you remember when we did this, you notice when I did the pocket clip, they gave me like a dozen screws, but all of the silver screws were short. And the black ones, I got like four short ones and four long ones. So the way the pocket clip is, see it's longer right there. You need a longer screw to go in there. So I ended up having to use one silver screw and one black screw, which kind of bugged me. I thought about ordering them. But I work at a company that we do metal finishing types of things. And so what I did is I took one of those black screws and we blasted it off. And then we, I had a friend throw it in the electro polish, which is basically like an acid. It takes off a very, very thin little layer and makes it a little bit shiny. And now we've got one that should match. And so we're going to go ahead and do that real quick right now. Get that black one out. This probably won't match perfectly, but that black, it would have been two black ones or this. Well, there it is. Looks like there's still a little black on the inside of there that I didn't quite get, which is a little different, which you can't see in that one, but whatever, that's not bad. That was something that I was able to try. It's nice that I have that ability for someone to just be able to throw that in that electro polish real quick and kind of brighten it up. Yeah, let's see, let's get close. Not too bad. I should almost put a little black on the inside of that one to kind of make it bounce off like the, the stripes on the blade, huh? All right. Migron, Talisman. These are cool. If you're looking for a budget knife for 30 bucks, I mean, this is what you're going to get. I'm going to zoom back out. Don't lose that black screw. I can save that. Maybe turn it silver as well. But yeah. Migron Talisman. Migron is really killing it. Um, like I said, just a little bit more and you can get something with a 14C28 end blade, which is going to be a little bit longer or more um, durable and less um, susceptible to corrosion and stuff like the D2 on this will. Um, but I, I live in Minnesota. I get things wet, but I take care of my knives. I take care of my tools. And so if you wipe them down, you keep them clean. It's not going to be something that's going to be 
just going to take over and just rust out on you and look like crap, you know. Um, it's still a great knife. I'll buy a D2 any time of day if it's at the right price. I mean, if it's expensive, obviously you're going to expect something better. But when you're looking at a budget, D2 is great. Should I put some stripes on this blade? What color should we do this pocket or the uh, pocket clip and the, uh, the scales? I'm thinking like a dark, dark green, dark blue would be the best um, with this particular gray. Yeah, that is going to be it for uh, today. If you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Mm. Double talisums. Should I try to make them match even though I can't? I can have one of those. Uh, here we go. How many knives do I have the multiples of? The pyrites? The Yeah, comment below if you know. Uh, Watauga's. <laughs> or it's Watauga. I've decided that uh, plural for Watauga is Watauga. Challenge me on it. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more. It helps me out. I really appreciate it. Having a great time making the channel. Um, stay sharp. We'll see you soon.